Hey guys, uh, welcome to episode two. Um, in this episode, uh, now that we got the fundamentals taken care of, I'm going to be talking about, uh, I'm just going to be um, installing components at this point. Uh, t in this episode, we're going to install the, uh, the auxiliary heat auxiliary heat sink and fan for the bridge processors and also I'm going to be installing the processor itself the the main CPU okay so let's do our remember always do our discharge uh, procedure first before we do any uh, anything else okay so uh, the first thing I wanted to show you was uh, these these extra processes are actually on your uh, on your motherboard and they handle they're they're considered bridge processors. They they communi they handle communication between the CPU and the motherboard. But basically, uh, this is an NVIDIA board. But uh, here's the the two. Here's one here. Okay, you'll see that. I'll explain what that gray stuff is. Uh, here's one processor and here's the other. Okay, here's the heat sink fan combo. I'm trying to get. There it is. Okay, it has a uh, it has a copper two copper plates and a uh, and this is for heat transfer uh, and this metal rod here is for heat transfer. It has a fan and it hooks uh, and it and the fan itself hooks right into this uh, CP, uh, CPU fan power connection on the motherboard. Okay, just like that. Let me show you how it's gonna sit. Okay. It's going to sit just like that. All right. Now let me show you how they actually connect it, and uh, this will actually uh, this will actually go back to that in the first episode when I first episode when I told you about using uh, nylon uh, standoffs for non uh, non grounded uh, for non grounded uh, mounting points. Uh, this is the system that NVIDIA used for my particular setup. Uh, these little push uh, style, okay, and kind of see what they do here. There's a spring inside of a, of, a, of a plastic cylinder and this is all plastic and this shoves through the hole and uh, grabs onto the back of the motherboard with those with that V-shape there. See that? Okay. So, in this case, you can see that they actually use plastic when they don't want there to be any metal. Okay, now this, uh, I'll explain what this stuff is. Okay, the, uh, the gray paste you see here, it's actually thermal, uh, it's a thermal, uh, it's thermal paste. And what it's designed to do is, uh, it's more like a gum, gum, gum texture. But what it's designed to do is to transfer heat properly to the uh, to the heat sink and allow for better and get that heat away from the actual processor. Okay. Okay. Now it sits. It'll sit pretty pretty nicely. Okay. Now that we've got the heat sink uh, fan combo for these uh, auxiliary processors attached, we're going to go ahead and. Um, Get these. Uh, we just we just need to lift the board up a little bit, so I can push, and then you push down on the spring, and 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 you got to do this kind of. It's a little complicated. Oops. Try not to do that. Okay. And there you go. I just pushed one in. Now you want to get the other side. Try to do this in a cross pattern. Make sure we get same thing. You're just pushing it, making sure. You're just pushing the end of the hole here. Sorry, you're not going to be able to see every little. I'll show you on this side. Okay. Okay. And that locks into place. Now let me show you what's actually happening here. Okay. So we put the. Okay. Put it there. Okay. And what's happening is I'm just pushing it. And it, the spring goes down, and then it goes through the board. And then how you know you're done? You won't see the spring anymore. It'll be uh, it'll be inside the cylinder, and that's how you know you've got it's it's uh, it's locked to the back of the of the motherboard. So let me get the other side here. 
at this point, I've got, I put all the uh, spring snaps in, or this, uh, whatever you want to call them, the spring, I just call them spring snaps. At this point, this is a pretty solid connection. And actually, you can use this to kind of maneuver the board around. Um, and, you know, as long as you have all this, the snaps springs in. Okay, and the last step after you've mounted it is to actually uh, install the, the fan, um, uh, the fan power to the uh, the fan connection to the CPU uh, uh, power power connector CPU fan connector and there'll be one nearby so you just use the closest one and basically it's just a three prong it goes one way and just pop her on and that's it and so at this point um, yeah just remember there's there's little there's uh, there's little transistors even on the back of the board so you want to be careful of these capacitors, they, they, they get hit a lot, so you want to be careful of those.